The front of the building is really beautiful and uh, it has a wide, huge open atrium with a, um, a, a, a veranda kind of over it and uh, it's, the atrium is really nice. We've had talks in there before, lunches quite often. It provides a space for students to, to engage in collaborative learning or studying in between classes and so um, those spaces are really needed here on campus and it, and it meets those needs. When I got here, I, I found that they involved the scientists and the people that would use the building and the design of the building, which was phenomenal. And so with the lab that I'm in right now, many of the features that it has, you know, I got the design and it's really been helpful in, 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 in our ability to perform science. This is a, you know, a really nice soldering iron. Uh, here are some impedance detectors that we use here. Um, pretty standard lab microscope here. We went from a very small, antiquated, old, dusty laboratory into a state-of-the-art world-class lab now too. I'm really really excited about that. It was really great when this building opened um, first and foremost because it brought us all back together so all the addiction neuroscience faculty are now in the same space. This entire lab that we're sitting in right now uh, is the main wet lab for the entire addiction neuroscience program so all the faculty have space in this room or in one of the adjacent small rooms that branch off from this room um, and this is where all all our molecular and bench type assays are, are done in support of all the behavioral work that occurs up on the third floor of this building. Uh, we wanted um, space that could accommodate the work that the current faculty were doing, addiction neuroscience faculty, but we wanted also the space to support some of the basic needs of future hires that we thought we, we might go for.